Alright everybody, welcome to Rana's Radar. Here I am at Streetside Classics. Now, we're going to check out the inventory, but before we do that, let's welcome Brian here. Brian, thank you so much for meeting Thank you. Thank you for coming. We're pretty good. Glad you're here. I'm so glad to be here. Now, I went to Streetside Classics in Florida. So, my good buddy Dave. I did. We had a great tour. I'll put a link to that one for those of you who are close by to that showroom to check it out. He got engaged last night. Oh, you're doing it! Oh, congratulations! Oh, that's a great day. <laughs> Good for you. Yes. Oh, I love hearing news like that. <laughs> that's awesome because I did meet an awesome guy, and he gave me the tour and showed me the showroom. But he did mention that Charlotte, where we're at right now in North Carolina, this is the biggest job. The headquarters. This is the headquarters. We're not square footage. We're not the largest, but you know, we're one of the top squares. And we're the oldest. The oldest. Yeah. First one that opened up. Street side was founded in Charlotte. There you go. There you go, everybody. Now, so many classics here. There is a big range for everybody. And you guys demanded this, and I'm here to give it. I want to go through some of the cars that are for sale. Everything is for sale. We're not going to be able to show you over the 200 cars that's here in the inventory. Almost 300. <laughs> but we are going to have a look at a range of different Absolutely. Cars, say. A for everybody. That's it. And that's what I want to focus this video on. Um, we're going to have a look at just absolute show car material cars, but at the same time, daily, something to fit everyone's budget. So, Brian, before we go ahead and do that, tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, uh, I'm a racer, rocker, writer, and used car salesman. It's cool stuff. So I've got a couple books in my name. Um, race cars, BMWs, Porsches, and a lot of different stuff. Been in professional motorsports for a year with Andretti Green, TDI, uh, and ended up in that's a young man's game. So I got into the car business a few years ago and I've been here at Streetside uh, for about five years. Wow. Well, that is very impressive because you're a car guy. Absolutely. To say the least, you're a car guy. So you'll be able to go through the whole inventory. Well, you're in charge of the inventory. Absolutely. I'm the inventory manager here at Streetside. Every showroom has a sales manager and an inventory manager, and it's kind of our, our baby. Our manager. You know everything here. Yeah. I know everything here as long as my computer's on. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> well, you know what? It's such a pleasure to have you with me, and we're going to go ahead and have a look. But somebody wants to get in contact, and they start saying, Run, and then we want to get in touch with you. We're going to be the right place to go ahead. Uh, yeah, absolutely. If you call the 704 uh, number, which is 704 598 20 130. Uh, just hit uh, the prompts for the inventory department. You need to get myself and Dave Slate, uh, our inventory consultant. Every showroom has two, two people. Uh, there's 800 numbers on the website, which is streetsideclassics.com. You can also submit your car online. That's right, because consignment happens here as well. We'll talk about that as we're walking around. But if there's something here that you guys really like or you want to get more information on, then definitely contact the number on the screen. Check it out. But enough of that later. Let's go look at some cars. Let's look at some cars. Let's go look at some cars. All right, Brian. There's a lot here, but look what's been behind us the just entire time. In. It just came in. Yeah, absolutely. 66 uh, Corvette, 327 four-speed car, numbers matching car, which is very important for those of you who know what the numbers matching game is. Uh, has a 67 hood on it. I bet you some of your folks will go, well, how could that be a 66? It has a 67 hood on it. But it's got great <laughs> options, and it has the knockoff wheels and the side pipes. And it's a great color combination. This has just come in, as you mentioned, and I see no sticker. It's going to be a six-figure car. This car will be close to $100,000. We're starting right at the top end, aren't we? That's Bear not with the me. most expensive one, either. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Yes. But we have Corvettes. If you're a Corvette guy, we have Corvettes. We have Corvettes from this kind of Corvette to this this gold uh, C3 is an original paint car, local car here to North Carolina. Uh, you know, the paint doesn't look so shiny on it, but that's how they came back in the day. But this uh, has not been touched. This is all original. Exactly, exactly. All original car. This is this car's 35.9. 35.9. You've got a range and body style as well. Love that, love that. Something for everybody. And we've right. got some more Corvettes. Yeah, modern Corvettes as well. So, uh, you know, we, we've got C8s in here. C, I have a C7. This is beautiful. That's another gorgeous car and uh, an, another C2. This one just sold today. Jack walked in, wrote us a check for the blue one. Well, that's sold. We're not interested in that now. Brian, wow. tell us the price for this one. <laughs> <laughs> another another coup. Uh, this one is $85,000, $84,995. Most of our pricing ends in $995. Okay, and mileage for this? 
Uh, the miles on this car are uh, actually unknown. Most of the things come in, especially if they have a North Carolina title, they come in with his mileage exempt. Okay. Uh, after about 20, 25 years, most states don't care. It does a bit of a disservice to the collector, especially if you have something that's known actual mile car. Yes. So we happen to have a Volkswagen Beetle in here that has less than 700 original miles on it. Wow. But we have all the documentation from 1979. Wow, less than 700. Where was it kept? In somebody's bedroom? Oh, it's a, no, it's a cool story. Uh, the gentleman bought it. It was one of the, 79 was the last year you could get a Volkswagen Beetle convertible. He put it in Morganson Motors out in Phoenix in his showroom. Okay. Right? Uh, and then when he passed, his daughter inherited the business. And then when the business sold, she kept the car for a little while, then sold it to a collector. Uh, he bought it. He, uh, they brought it to Streetside. We sold it for her. And wow. then... That collector now brought it back to Streets. I had repeat business, it's the name of the game. <laughs> uh, and we're selling the car now. He put like 200 miles on it at the time we had it. Wow. Which is half mate? its mileage. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so we got some Corvettes here. Let's walk around because there is trucks here, there is Tri-5s, okay. there's Mustangs. I mean, speaking of a Mustang, check out what's oh, this in front is of me. Mustang Central right here. We've got a ton of Mustangs. From you know, the first gen Mustangs, this is a uh, little GT Coupe. Uh, nice little car, great entry point car. Uh, this is a pretty nice one in terms of fit and finish. So in terms of coupes, this is sort of the high end of the market, about forty-three thousand dollars. We've got others that are a lot uh, very affordable. Sixty-six for forty-three thousand dollars. I mean, this is just—it's ready. You right. Don't want to do anything. Right. Now, if you fancy being Steve McQueen, right, the king of cool, right, my hero. Yeah, let's Steve go McQueen, on. Steve McQueen. We have a bullet. This is a really neat car. Modern drivetrain in it, so it's got a modern 5.0, fuel-injected, five-speed in it, but done up like Steve McQueen's bullet, right down to the torque thrust wheels and all. Now, something like this is $80,000, $79,900. I love these wheels. So if you want to go racing through the streets of San Francisco, if I had a black charger, we could go replicate that in downtown Charlotte. But that would upset our consigners, so we're not going to do that. <laughs> now that is 80,000. That's 80,000. Right. The, so the next gen up from the 64 and a half to 66, the 67, 68 body stuff. So that's how the showroom is set up. We've got all Mustangs here and then... My Corvettes. Corvettes. My big Chevelles. As you can see, there's a line of Jeeps. Vintage four-wheel drives have been very popular. Wagoneers in particular. And we have those at all different price points as well. Wow. Love it. Let's continue along and check out some more Mustangs before we move to the next section. Loving the baby blue, powder blue. Carolina blue. Carolina Remember where you blue. are. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, Carolina right. blue, okay. Right. And this one is this one is 32,995. 32. Nice, clean, simple, little, basic, very stock. We have its fastback cousin right next to her, her sister. These are popular. Very much. Fastbacks, the first gen fastbacks are one of the more desirable muscle cars out there. A lot of memories in these cars. So we see this is the 66 fastback. And um, sorry, what were you saying, Brian? How much is this? Oh, 56. Yeah, 50, yeah 56. Right. We have a couple of fastbacks. We even have a Hertz tribute in this. It's real common to see people put stripes on them and kind of make them their own, but they, you know, uh, uh, almost a throwback to what you would have done the second day you got it. Okay, the second day you got it. Right. <laughs> Go to the dealership, new, come home with your brand new 66 Mustang, you throw wheels on it, put a stripe on it. Maybe back then an 8-track. <laughs> an 8-track. Now I know what that is. I've seen that now. <laughs> I had one in my first car. Did you? <laughs> oh, God, yeah. <laughs> okay. Now we, now we start to get a little bit to the later body style after the, the first gens. This, is, uh, this one is a 70. And it's a nice little coupe. And it's a decent price point. This car is $32,995. $32,995. Wow. And like the Bullet, this one has a modern Lincoln motor in it so it has a lincoln uh, mod motor in it and a lincoln interior so you look at this you get all the vintage classic feel but someone has gone and put well they're nice interiors look at this the late model lincoln interior in it the airbag doesn't function but the steering wheel is 
still drive around lit, yet it will still feel a little bit more modern. Exactly, and the the trunk popper even works. Even the trunk popper works, everybody. Which you wouldn't have had in 1970. Okay. Yeah. And then a lot more Corvettes. Wow. If you're in the market looking for a Corvette, I mean, this is one place you'd have to stop and start your search because there's a lot here. Our, our most popular vehicles are Corvettes, Chevelles, Mustangs, the uh, certain areas of the Chevy C10 pickup and the early Ford F100, uh, F150. You know, that whole era of 60s and early 70s muscle cars is And that's really the, the area hottest, that's coming back the, now. Yeah, the hottest section of the second in the market yeah. right now. Okay. There's, uh, there's, a, there's a little bit of everything in this show for it everyone. It really is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we, even, we do a lot with the late model Corvettes as well. Like this is a great entry level car to get into the to the hub. It's a beautiful car. You could drive it anywhere. It's a killer color combination, and it's seventeen thousand nine hundred dollars. Seventeen thousand. What year is this? This, uh, this particular uh, car is ninety three. Is a ninety three. Ninety three Corvette, everybody. Which is a vintage car. Which is now a vintage car. Thirty I was just years about to old. Say that exactly. Wow. Right, and I Makes mean, me feel, oh, now I'm vintage too. Right. <laughs> I'm definitely vintage. <laughs> I remember them when they were new. Now I'm that old guy. <laughs> <laughs> but that is a pretty sweet price. I mean, if you ask me, like if if you're a Corvette person, you want to just get into it, and start getting your own. Absolutely. And, what, what a great starting point, honestly. Absolutely. I can't help it. Oh, that is somebody's interpretation of what a four-passenger coach is. Okay. So this guy literally drove this coupe wherever he had gotten it from. I can't remember if it was a family member or somebody he knew. And when he had kids, he thought that wouldn't it be cool if I take the kids out, you know, in the car? And I really wish I had a Cobra. And he married those two ideas and created his own little so you can see like the top of the windshield He's frame. extended it so much, the body. Yeah, cut up the top of the windshield, just open windshield like it would be on a Cobra, the roll bar, the stripes through. Yep, the roll bar's there as well. This is obviously a, a big addition as well as the whole body has been like, there's been a lot of work into this. Oh, it's a ton of work. A ton of work to get to this one. Very but custom. it's one guy's passion. Very custom, absolutely. And what is the price for this? Uh, this one, you should know off the top of my head, right? This one, excuse me, is $32,995. $32,995. That's a fair weather mustard. It caught my eye. It definitely caught the corner of my eye and I had to turn around. It's very custom, it's very different. And you know, I mean, I don't know about you lot, but I like seeing different things. Uh, it, it draws people in, it's a conversation starter. It's nice, I like it. So it's a Did cool. not expect that price. I thought it might have been a bit more. No, and that's a lot. Somebody's backyard labor of love. Yes. You know, they they knew what they wanted. They knew what they wanted to build. Eddie made his dream car, had his fun, and now his kids are grown and they're not into it. So they moved on to the next. And thing. he's on to the next thing. Exactly. You've got a GT 350 back there. I do. And a Hertz one, nonetheless. If it were real, I'd be super happy. Oh, okay. Okay. So I'm sure your viewers are familiar with tributes. And we get a lot of Hertz tributes. This is probably the most common color combination. Yes. Uh, they also made white gold and uh, red gold Hertz as well. The white is, I believe the white is the rarest. Uh, yes, rarest I've one. seen the red gold and I have seen the black gold. This is a replica. Mm -hmm. That's a yeah, pretty true to form. It's a nice little 289 car. 289, and is it all fiberglass? The, well, the hood's fiberglass, the steels are the steel, the fenders are steel. It was based on a Mustang. Okay. Yeah, I think it might have been based on the C-code originally, but this, is, this car is $90,000. $89,900. $89,900. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see Sometimes it's hard to get the dream car that we want. You know, not everybody can afford hundreds of thousands of dollars to get exactly what we want. So. That's true. I like that these things are in the market, you know, with the like with the Cobras, you know, they're like three hundred fifty thousand oh. dollars. Oh, original Cobra? Yeah. More and now even probably more. That Eight was like to one point two million for a big block car. There you go. Yeah. There they're you go. Huge. They're huge. There are nine of them in the Charlotte area, by the way. Real deal Cobras. Real deal Cobras. Yeah, buddy of mine. Well, two buddies of mine. 
Charlotte is a very big car town. A huge car town. We're the kind of the racing mecca of, you know, of course, Indianapolis would argue, and I'm an Indy car fan, but Charlotte is the race hub. And then just because of that, there's so many car guys here and yes. craftsmen. And well, Detroit Speed is here as well. Oh, yeah. Detroit yep. Speed is here. You were just there today. I was just there today, yep. so there's a video will be up yep. there as well. And um, Carl was just telling me yep. how big it is, how big of a racing yeah. Well. Oh my gosh, yeah. I mean, there are IMSA teams here, NASCAR teams, the uh, dirt, uh, World of Outlaws, dirt uh, headquarters are right down the street. Yeah. I mean, it's it's crazy. Bruce Wayne lives here. Yeah. You know, Batman? I know. Because that's the Batmobile. Somebody's interpretation of the Batmobile. Okay, let's have a look. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> This is one of my really wonderful clients, Bruce Wayne. That's what we're going to call him. That's not his real name. But this was his take and interpretation on, hey, I'm going to build some wild custom. And somebody said, dude, it looks like the Batmobile. So that's sort of the theme that he went with. He created itself. It's certainly not a real Batmobile. It doesn't even look like any of the movie cars. But it's a big block injected supercharged. Wow. Hot rover. Hot rod. That whole little Fiat Topolino body tilts forward to jump in. It's like it's wow. like an altar from the 60s. 502 big block, supercharged, beautiful looking hot rod. Right. This wow with the matte black finish. So much customizations, I mean it's insane. It is insane. I'm absolutely speechless. And he made this. I mean look at the custom work here, everybody. The fabrication involved is just like you said, it's one man's dream. And the thing that I love about plastic right. cars, Brian, is that these get made with so much love. Yes. Which is why you know that they get built really, really well. Yes. So even though classic car dealerships such as Springside, I mean, you guys don't offer in-house warranty for the cars. We have service contracts, though. You have service contracts. Which, which gives people peace of mind. So if you're yes. new to the hobby and you're like, oh my gosh, what if, it, what's, what if something happens to this yes. car? I can't fix it. Well, we have it for an additional fee, but it's yes. kind of nominal. We can put in place for certain cars a service contract. So it just gives a buyer peace of mind. A lot of these guys, they wrench on their own stuff. You know, they're not interested. But somebody new to the hobby, yes. and they're like, no, oh, I'd feel better if I just, you know. Because you spend so much money, you want to get some kind of a Right. Well, who, you know, I live in Maryland. You're down there. Who would work on it up here? Yes. So there's, there's... So tell me about the service contract. It's offered through Freedom Warranty, which is a, a company that we have. Uh, and it, the car is, there's some qualifiers that have to hit mileage, but it essentially covers most of your rotating assembly in the motor, transmission, uh, you know, the big mechanical things. The that big go stuff. Wrong. Yeah. So I love that. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. A brand, uh, we just started a couple of months ago. And I think we are the only classic car dealer right now to block it. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. I was reading and uh, you know it's not very common for that to happen. I, I think unusual. Dave didn't mention it either so that's why I thought maybe you guys haven't but it's very new. Very new. It was before uh, it happened after you you were there before you came in. Okay. All right for those of you looking for something to really give it a wow factor and to just rock up at a car show or go to the local cruise in and have everybody come by and stop this is it right here. Right. And if this doesn't turn the person's head, then I'm guessing they're sleeping. <laughs> exactly. And they'll, they're about to be woken up by the big block. Exactly. <laughs> so this is 55995, everybody. Right. Which is far less than the real battle. We'll call it a movie tribute car. A sure. movie tribute. All right. So you've got a little sunroof. Yes, that's your escape hatch. Thank you so much. Love it. But there's lots of stuff. We've got, you know, we have a lot, we have Honda S2000s, right? So, and next to it, you know, this, the Scion, the Lincoln Mark 8. That's a, that's a, this car is an AAC, American Antique Automobile Club of America, easy for me to say, right? First prize winner. So this, I mean, this old car, which it, whoops. Oh, I'm gonna, we'll just do that. <laughs> this, I mean, this is the kind of car that's now eligible for AACA meets. And you could, if you were an old Lincoln guy, say you had an old Lincoln Zephyr, right? You don't want to go drive that on their driving tours. Well, that qualifies. So you could go to AACA meet, take that on the tour, and show your Zephyr in the... Wow. Well, there's a little something, you know, for everybody. And the price point on this car is super easy to 
entry level price, thirteen thousand dollars. Thirteen thousand dollars. You know, and that's that's one thing I really do like about street side classics is there's something here for everybody. Whether it's your first car or whether it's something you want to add to your collection, mm -hmm. you can find it here. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, like if you've got been working with your grandkids on cars and you want to get them something that's going to be a classic for them because that right. would be. I mean, that's that's pretty cool. Right. Exactly. And to, you know, again, I remember those when they were brand new. But. I mean, we have this is sort of our late model row. You'll see your late model Camaros, the SSR. We have some of our big floaty 50s stuff in the middle there we can walk through as well. We'll definitely go back to the 50s and have a look at the Tri Fives because I know we're always keen on finding the prices for that. They can be all over the place. It all depends on build quality and what, uh, you know, what the combination is, whether it's a big block, an LS swap, small block, stock, another affordable entry-level classic. What is this? Jaguar. It's a Jaguar, okay. XJS convertible, 13,995. Jaguar AC, convertible. power steering, easy to drive, looks good, go to the club, play golf. 13,000. There you and, go. And that's part of the hobby too. That's the Beetle I was telling you. Wow. So 49.9. 49.95. Mm-hmm. is no paint has ever been retouched here. We, we believe we believe that it's original paint. We had the car was clean, I mean clean to an inch of its life. We have the original sheet. The transport sheet that it was imported on showing from the factory in Germany where it was going to Morganson Motors in the States. There's a little log book where they kept all their little journal of everything they did for oh, the I mileage and all that stuff. It's it's just it's a time capsule. It really and is. And if you want a new 79 Volkswagen, it's right there. Wow. The last year they had the convertibles. You know, I went to the show Circle Your Wagon. I'll put a link on that as well for those of you to check it out. I mean there's a big fan club of the Beatles, you know? Oh, yeah. This, this is very neat. It's an absolute collector. And the fact everything is all original with such small mileage. I just want to show you guys the insides as well. It's like nobody's sat in here. How is the top? Is it attracted back? How do we Manually, yeah. Looks like it's kept it very, very simple. Maybe the modern one's not so much, but... Okay. And I don't know if people remember these. You could buy these funky noses for Volkswagens for like the J.C. Whitney category catalog years ago. And what year and how much is this? this is, it's a Super Beetle. It's a 72. Uh, and it's $12,000. 11995 But this kind of emulates that... 3944 yes. deal. Yes. Volkswagens are fun. They are fun and they're fun to look at. And popular. There's definitely a big, big following of it. You've got a whole row of Volkswagens. Yes, this is, I like to call this the short row. The short row. Right, because if you notice, all the cars are not very long. Yes. <laughs> And of course, you can work with people's budget. If somebody was to call you and say, you know what, I want a classic from this era. Oh yeah, happens And this all is the my time. budget. Will you go, if you don't have it in your inventory, do you offer the service to go out there and look? We have a vehicle finder on the website. Okay. So you can put in make, model, year, even the specifics you'd like on the car. And then you'll get notified as soon as one hits the system. Anywhere. So if one hit okay. Phoenix, Tennessee, wherever, you'll be the first to be. No. Oh, I love that. Okay, so you can just put whatever car you're looking for exactly. on the website with your own details there as well, of course, yep. including oh, yeah. email. Yep. That's how you'll get notified. Exactly. And when that hits your inventory, you'll be notified. Yep. Yep. You put email, call, text. You opt in for that however you want to get it. Okay. All right. <laughs> the Beast. The Harley Davidson van? Yes. Delivery van? It's, it is a 3100. Uh, panel van panel that van. someone has converted to be a dually right and the, well you got to see the back of this i have to and then in the interior of this is just crazy what they've done and this is oh i can't get in here ah. this truck's too tight that's all right 
it's has it's full of NASCAR memorabilia in the back. We'll have to grab a picture off the website. I don't know if we can. Okay, so can. and then you can um, send it to me so yes. I can put it on the screen and everybody can have a look. Yes. Why the NASCAR memorabilia? Well, it's just was the guy's thing. That was his one. And his personal taste. Yeah. And obviously, he he's a, a Harley guy. guy then. Yeah, he's a Harley guy. But let's throw this in here so everybody yeah, could, could see. Probably could point the camera back there. And, uh, it's dark. It's hard to see. But check out the headliner. I'll try to clean that up and put a bit of a spotlight on it. Very custom interiors, everybody. Love the wood in here. It's just fun. It is, it's just fun. Okay. That's a Cobra. And just like there's a little bit of everything for anyone, some of your audience would be aghast that what powers this. What is it? A small block Chevy. And a board. What should be a That's okay. I've it's come okay. across plenty of cars. It's okay. And you know the 350 Chevys are a very, very reliable engine. I've mentioned that before as well. So it's okay. So and this I. this is an Arts, which Arts went out of business. But they were a pretty good high quality manufacturer at the time. But somebody just chose, right? When you're building a replica or a kit car. Yes, right? exactly. And it was you built it to drive it. Right. And he wants to drive it around. Not that the Ford right. engines are not reliable at all, but the 350s I see right. so much. And a lot of the purists will be, oh my gosh, it's an automatic, which it is. But Carol Shelby had an automatic. There you go. So can't knock automatics in a Cobra. <laughs> all right, we got some trucks here as well, Brian. Oh, trucks, yes. yes. It's all about the trucks. Well, we exactly. First? I mean, this the seat, oh, that's a tape end. The tape end, seat end. Really popular. This is a super good looking truck. Great looking color combo. Nice lift on it. Really nice, you know, overall interior and everything. It's a ton of truck. I mean, you could you could literally daily drive something like this if you wanted to. Absolutely. 72 Chevy K10 49995, and this bit automatic. It's got a nice 350 in there. Super simple, reliable. Easy for oil changes. Got a great look to it. Absolutely. I'm digging this. Building cars costs a lot of money, everybody. A lot of money and a lot of time. You know, someone who's personally going through it now when I see finished products and I'm like wow that's so tempting. Are you you're building something right now? <laughs> yes. What are you building? Should I know? I should be more of a man. You should know. I'm joking. No it's well, it's a bit slow but 72 Chevy long way. Okay. So it's it's so a long you need way. To cut the frame with a short box. On the no I will not be doing that. Okay. Why would you assume that I would cut it? I love short boxes. That was personal opinion, not that of street side. I love short boxes. <laughs> because so, they do have the more sportier look. Because they're cooler looking. But when was the last time you saw a long bed? Well, there's like a, five of them in here. There's five long beds in here? Oh my! <laughs> I don't see so them earlier often. today. Well, I guess when it comes to the custom cars, the right. short cars, the short beds are always very popular. Very popular. And of course, they do look better. It looks a little bit more balanced and right. stuff. But um, I just like a long vehicle, and I like the truck. So carrying plywood around and stuff, I guess, right? Eight foot yeah, bag. I don't know if I'll be carrying plywood, <laughs> but you know what? Who knows what's going to happen with my truck? Um, we'll see where the journey takes me. There you go. But yeah, We've that's got a right here, the red one and black. Okay, well let's have a look at them. Let's have a look at this beautiful oh, yes. yeah, lime. This is, yes, kind of like lime avocado green. It's a cool truck. Very, very cool truck. It's super simple, but it's very, very well done. It's in on Steelies, which is really cool. $30,000, and you're in, you know, a first-gen C10. C10s are huge, everybody. Right. Wow. I'm going to show you guys the bed as well, but before we do that, take a look at the interiors. Ready to go to the next C10 truck nationals. Oh, and guess what? Yep. It's a long bed. 
to Long Bay. There you go. I like it. You have too many cars here, Brian. I'm trying to get good footage for my viewers. There are so many cars here. <laughs> I have too many when I'm over 300. So I have room for cars. You have room for cars. Well, oh, this is nice. This is a crazy nice truck. Wow. Let's start off at the interiors. This is what drew me. And I love overhead consoles. I don't know about you guys, but I'm trying to get as clean of a dash as I can. And I just love it when you can put things where they're not always going to be seen easily with the eye, but beautiful leather here. Well, there's such a support community for parts for the trucks. Yes. That, and you get personalizing an individual one. This one's 69.9. It's just, I mean, it's a killer look. Well, this is the Cheyenne. So this is the top of the range of the year 1972. It's the one that I'm doing. You were wondering what truck I'm okay. doing. But here it is. It's a short bed. Beautiful. This is just under 70,000. You know, speaking of bed, I feel like somebody's missing in the back. I'm joking. <laughs> I do like the short bed seat tents, everybody. You've seen me at the seat tent track nationals. Oh, this is nice too. Mm -hmm. Gotta love red. the trucks. Yep. CST, which is another option package, trip level on them. Many people remember these, you know, from growing up. Uh, her grandpa had them, her dad had them. This one's a little bit more in the black one. Okay, 74.9. Yep, 74.9. Oh, Hound's tooth interior. And even the headliner is really nice and matching with everything else, everyone. This is is that three on the tree or? No, this one. Is it automatic? Or? No, this is an automatic. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. nice. A lot of guys will take these and will do, you know, like maybe a overdrive automatic, like a 700 R4 transmission and a make them a little drive. Well, this one's got a turbo 350 in it. Okay. But, yeah. Oh, there's another one. But... You know, you know this is so cool because I'm seeing these trucks in their beautiful colors. Are you getting ideas? And I'm getting ideas. What Love this. It? Another long bed. Another long bed. Wow. And this one is a 300. This is a 300. Love the big back windows. That's why I love the 70s. This is a 69 C10. For $19,995. Why is this so cheap? It's just a simple, basic truck. Still. And, you know, it's been <laughs> not a frame off restoration, but it's been freshened up over the years. Yeah. It's a beautiful turquoise color. Okay, let's have a look over here. Let's, let's change things up a little bit. Into, into the hot rod, street rod scene. We all love the street rods. This is a, this iconic car, a 44. A 44. And not a bad, you know, price point. Sub $40,000. Here's a case where people don't care if the Chevy's in a Ford. Although Ford guys love Ford's in a Ford. This is a 350. But that's very common to do that. That's just a great looking car. Yeah. Good color. Great cruising car. The vintage fog lights look really cool on it. Now these, the 40 Fords, they can, I mean I've seen these at the auctions well in the six figures. Oh, yeah. Well, well in the six figures. And it all comes down to how much work what you've done to it, frame, exactly. chassis, motor, drivetrain, the level of detail some of these guys get to build. So that's when you start talking about Riddler Awards and some yes. of those things. It's because it is, it's, it's that kind of a car that is just screams classic. Right. It's, it's a very timeless look. Yeah, timeless, that's the word. 
Rudolph Chrysler. Chrysler convertible. Chrysler convertible nonetheless. Show you guys the sticker and then I'm going to show you the inside. This is the New Yorker Deluxe 1953. 34995. the white wheel wheels on these mm -hmm. and the wire wheels 